Hello, this is Double Noobster, and today I'm, I'm teaching you how to make a Elastic Host free server for Minecraft. And yeah, and let's get started. First, first thing you need to go to Elastic Host, and you pop up, and you need to register. But if you, uh, you can, you can do a free trial, but you just have five days, and you you need a credit card for it. Um, anyway, I made an account, so let me log in. There we go, and there's my server. Wait, let's turn my server off. Yeah, I will teach you the new way. Um, the first thing you do, um, you need to make a name. I call it Minecraft. Type self install and click send OS Linux 6.0 live install CD and set size for 20 20 gig which is maximum and press add and it will make you a server. Now what you need to do and go to edit for servers and set a name for a VNC, set a password. I'll set to one to part five six seven for example and I will set to configure. Now they saved it and you need to press start and you will start your server up for a second. There we go and there's your server IP address and there's your VNC server password. Now what you need to do is you need to go to Google and you need to download a type VNC. Um, what the what does this do is it lets you it lets you download uh, it lets you host a uh, display a VNC it lets you display your server so just go download now and there we go but I already downloaded so I'll just boot it up um, so in the Typhoon server you need to put your IP address in here which is this one. Copy that and paste it in, and press connect. And you will you will ask you for a password, and you need to put one two three four five six seven, which is my VNC password right here, and press OK, and it will log in. And now you need to wait till it loads. And there's your V, there's your um, send OX, and just know that this is the default user from CD, so you need to install the hard drive in order to host the server. Yeah, now, so to make a new to make a new send OS, um, press install the hard drive to make a new OS. Again, this is just a CD default user, so and this is sent OS 6 community enterprise operating system and press next. Now you need to do um, type the pick a language you want to. There's a bunch of language here and I'm gonna put US English. Click next and just pick basic storage devices. You don't need specialized thing, so press next and it says just press reinitialize all and it will reinitialize and host name for now put your server name in here it really doesn't matter but just in case so I'll put my uh, server for like this and I'm press next and you are gonna ask your server time host time and I don't really care, so I'm just gonna press next. And there's a root password. It really doesn't matter. Ah, oh, yeah, it matters, but you just set a root password. And I'm gonna set one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for example. And yeah, and press next. And it said, yeah, but, yeah, two week password. I don't really care because it's tutorial, so I just use it anyway. And and there we 
choose to replace existing Linux systems. So I'm gonna pick that and press next and just write changes to disk and it will make a new hard drive with the server on it so I'll be right back when it's done um now I'm back and yeah it says congratulations your sent OS Linux installation is complete it says pl please reboot to use install system so I'm gonna reboot click close go to system then press shut down and it will there has to be button says it says restart and I will restart and it will reboot the system so let's wait and it says press and key to enter the menu oh yeah just I press something and it will load up Linux 6.6.0 Okay, now wait and there we go it says welcome to new setup 6 press yes which, and click forward and now you do create your own user I'll put my username here my current username and full name I'll just put David on there and you to put your password. Um, I'll put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for example, and yeah. And now you created a user. Yeah, I'll use it anyway. And you need to set a date. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do this, so I'll click forward. And we don't even care. Just ignore this. This is insufficient memory. Click OK and click finish and it will load your thing up click David you need to click David and there's my full name and enter your password which is 1234567 and click login and boom there's your New OS from your this HC HC drive. Um, now what you need, you need you need to you need to go to the administration and click firewall and you need to disable it in case and type your root password which is one two three four six seven and click this button and disable just in case and click apply and yes and just close it up now you're done with the OS part and I'll be teaching you how to make a server first thing you need to go to to the web browser and go to the dl.bucket.org or if you want a vanilla server, just go to the minecraft.net and go to download and download, download your server jar. But I'm not going to use server jar because I really don't like it. So I'm going to use bucket. And you're in bucket. Now you, you press craft bucket recommended build. Just download the last recommended field or a dev field. It really doesn't matter. So just download it and save file. Go there, and once they finish downloading it, just click open. And there's your. And just close. You can close the browser now because you're not gonna use it for now. So there's your crap bucket, and you need to extract extract now show the files oops I messed up I messed up sorry guys uh, no 
on that, you just need to drag this to the desktop. That's what you need to do. And you can just delete, remove all this because you, you, you didn't need it anyway. Um, just move to the tr Now, you need to rename this to the crab bucket. Um, because you, you don't have to write down the whole thing There's a crap bucket jar And Now you need to install a Java in here I'm going to show you right now And go to system and click administration And there's a add or remove software You click that and type Java And click find and it will find the Java for you and um, I don't know if it's already installed it or not so I'm just going to show you show it to you guys anyway um, um, if you look for a Java oh there you go they installed it they already have one so you do need to do that and just exit out now you do that now the last step you need to you can easily run the server. Go to applications and go to system tools and there's a terminal at the very bottom. And there is the terminal and now what you need to do is you need to install no go on type C D desktop. Um, by the way this is a uh, capital sensitive so you to write you have to write, must have to write capital D the first and press enter and it will um, go to the desktop location and now you need to type java minus jar minus xmx one gig which is uh, by the way uh, you can just write down whatever RAM you want which is if I want um, 600 megabytes you can just type 600m megabytes or one gig because I'm just gonna type 1 gig anyway because I like to have my more server and uh, more players in my server so minus xms 1 gig and minus xms 1 gig you do the same same thing except s you press space and press space and type crap bracket dot jar and press enter and it will load you a crap bucket. You can just ignore the error because you're not gonna need it anyway. It doesn't really matter. So there we go. There's your new Minecraft server. Um, just spawning area. Just wait till it loads and it says done. Type help or something. Now I will test you guys up. I'll test it out that I'll show you guys that it works. I'll go to my Minecraft and let's play server. Go to direct connect or add server and you just need to put down your IP address. Copy and paste it in and join server. And it will log you in. It doesn't let me log me in because I have 1.2 for Minecraft for the Minecraft and this crap bucket version is 1.1. Yeah, um there's a Minecraft and I'll just exit out. And there we go. There's your Minecraft server. And if you wanna stop, you can just press stop and it will stop your server. And if you wanna and you can just exit out and like do whatever you want and you can mess up with server dot properties and put your server name and yeah, all that stuff and if you want to run again just go to terminal and cd just top and just type java minus jar minus xmx one gig minus xms one gig and crack bucket dot jar and it will reload your server up it will load your server yeah that's pretty much it for 
Let's go tutorial guys and if you have any comments, suggestions or comments, uh, feel free feel free to email me or message me. Um and yeah, that's pretty much it and have a great day.